Hi, my name is William Riker, and I'm part of the Turf Club. Um, we did our uh, presentation on eco-friendly uh, lawns, making sure they're correct and not uh, damaging the environment. A main point in creating a lawn is picking your type of grass, since there are many types of grasses that do different things and have different requirements for a lawn. Some require more fertilizers than others, some require more water than others. With a correct um, choice, you can limit the amount of natural resources being put into your lawn and that can be saved for future uses. When picking a grass, you want to look for the temperature, if you're in the right climate, you want to look for the right soil, if you're in the right area for the grass. There's many things that factor into having the correct type of grass in a lawn that can help the environment and your uh, wallet as well since it costs money to buy fertilizers and have water in your house. Keeping a home lawn is very important to do things environmentally aware because running the sprinklers too long could waste water and sprinkling a lawn that is just fertilizer can have the chance of runoff. Runoff is when something t goes from one area and runs into another area. So by over watering your lawn while there's fertilizer on it, you could be taking the fertilizer and putting it into streams or drinking water areas or ponds or someplace where it shouldn't be. So it's very important that you apply the correct amount of fertilizer in order for there not to be runoff. Um, it's a very big fertilizer, a very big pollutant, and it's something you need to be aware of. Phosphorus can also promote flowering in the plants as well, but all are essential. Um, nitrogen is uh, well, something that you have to monitor very, very closely, whereas the soil test will reveal phosphorus and potassium. That's so cool!
uh, last step to uh, fertilizing your lawn is applying the fertilizer. Um, first, you want to fill the spreader off of your lawn. Um, this way, if you spill something, um, you can always sweep it up on the uh, driveway and stuff like that. Um, from that, you want to uh, calibrate the spreader. Calibration is going to be found on the bag label. It tells you how many uh, pounds per thousand of products that you should be putting down on your lawn. Um, after that, you want to walk with the spreader. You want to walk with a steady pace so that you get an uh, even coverage over your whole lawn. And you want to overlap just a little bit so you don't have any skips or misses. And after that, you are done applying fertilizer.